You have probably already seen that the shit burns from Shabam right now are extremely low. However, do you guys know how much we could be burning every single day and every single year at the current rate? I'm gonna go over the current burn rates and how insane the burns could be if the base fee goes up to just one cent per transaction. Spoiler, guys. The burns could be absolutely insane for Shiba Inu. When we look at Shibam scan, here's an example of a block that ended up having eight transactions. And you might be wondering how much did this block actually end up burning in terms of bone that's going to be converted into Shib in the future? We well, can see that amount right here. This is basically one one billionth of a bone. That means that you'd have to have a billion transactions at this rate to burn one single bone or one dollar worth of Shiba Inu. You can see that in these different transactions right here where this transaction has an extremely low burn fee right there. Again, basically three one billionths. This one over here, the same very low burn amount. However, there is still hope. And this is something I've been talking to you guys for quite a while. As we can go ahead and see in the documents about the burns, you can see that there is the base fee and priority fee. The base fee is going to go 70% to burns 30% towards the network fees. But the important thing for us to note is that if the previous block is close to being full, the base fee will increase and vice versa. Basically, this base fee can fluctuate with each block, and that base fee determines that burn amount. So in theory, this amount being burned could increase. But the question is, is it going to go up by basically 1 million times what it is right now? What are we going to be looking at? What can we expect to see for this burn? You might be wondering why even have a fee if it's going to start out and be this low. That's a really good question that I hope to answer here in just a minute. And so for us to get an estimate as to what this could look like over time, we have to know how many transactions can we expect over time. When we can look at something like Polygon, for example, Polygon's a great example, as you guys can see from this scaling update that, that they had during the Shibarium scaling issues, that they were working closely with the Polygon team. This is because Shibarium is basically based off of Polygon. So we can actually look at the Polygon network as an example of what we can expect to see from Shibarium. We go ahead and take a look at the Polygon network. You guys can see on a transactional basis per transaction, you look at a transaction fee, basically one cent. And out of that, you can see that the base fee is 90 and the uh, priority fee is 30. So base fee is basically three fourths of the entire fee goes to that base fee. And then out of that, there's some Polygon being burned. Now, what does the total transaction volume potentially look like? for polygon well right now total transactions per day for polygon you guys can see right behind me averaging basically two two and a half million transactions per day and ended up peaking in this region right here we basically saw an average of about that line about six million transactions per day this is a baseline that we can use for shibarium to see when shibarium becomes popular we go into a bull market what is it going to look like and what could it look like potentially right now but if you guys enjoy the research in this video make sure you hit the notification bell down below and subscribe so you don't miss out on more content just like this. All right, so when we go ahead and look at the Shibarium network right now, what is our average transaction? Well, you guys can see daily transactions. Right now, we're looking at about 120,000 transactions for today. But we can see this average probably around 100,000 different transactions coming in per day with Shibarium right now. And with the cost per transaction being this low, we can actually do some math and see what do the numbers look like right now for the Shibarium network. Now, important disclaimer, as we get into the spreadsheet, a lot of these are estimates. A lot of these are not going to be exact. And we just simply don't have the formula for how this base fee is going to adjust over time. So I'm going to try and do some simple numbers so we can get some ballpark ideas as to what we're looking at right here. So right now, current base fee per transaction is extremely low. Again, very low amount as terms of dollar amounts. Again, you're looking at basically one one millionth of a dollar right here, extremely low. And so what does this mean right now? So if we have 100,000 different transactions coming into the Shibam network every single day, like the volume we're at right now, what is that daily total base fee? Remember, 70% of this value is going to be burned. 30% is going to go to maintaining the network. But let's just take the total amount of that base fee. That total base fee in a single day at 100,000 transactions a whopping 10 cents total. What about on a yearly basis? What does that look like for an entire year? $35. The entire base fee for a year at the current volume is $35. Now, again, this is supposed to scale over time. We're going to talk about what does that look like if this scales, but let's say we go to a million transactions. Again, assuming this fee stays the same, which we know it's not going to, but just to give us an idea here, if this fee stays the same, we're going to be looking at $1 per day, guys. One whole dollar per day. 70 cents per day is going to be burned out of that. Wow, that is so amazing. 70 cents a day. What about on a yearly basis? $354. This is nothing. Why even have a fee? This is a really good question that we need to answer here at the end of this video. But why even have a fee if the number is going to be this low? What if we get up towards that peak of Polygon? We go to 6 million transactions every single day. 
wow, we're going to go to $6 a base fee a day. $6, not $600, not $6,000, $6, less than the cost of a meal at McDonald's per day for this entire network with 6 million transactions. On a yearly basis, you're looking at $2,000 here. The average person in America spends more money than that on food every single year, and our entire network that would, in theory would be having millions of people would be generating less than the average person in America spends on food every single year. Now, what if we increase this? What if we make this go up like crazy? Let's say we end up going ahead and we make the fee go up by 100x. 100x what it is right now. On a yearly basis at 100,000 transactions per day, $3,000. Let's say we go up again to that 6 million marker, 6 million transactions per day. You're going to get a quarter of a million dollars. So now we're starting to talk about something actually substantial, but this fee has to go up 100x for us to just get a quarter of a million dollars a year. So again, a massive network, one of the top networks in all of cryptocurrency at that point would be basically generating a quarter million dollars a year of fees. That's it. That's still extremely low for the entire network. Now, that might sound like a lot of money, but that's still so, so low. What if we go ahead and we 100,000 times X multiple on the fee? We go to 10 cents per transaction, which is higher than we want to be, to be fair, guys. This is just to show and emphasize how extreme this could go and how far we'd have to go to actually have substantial impact. If we did that, we'd be burning through or we have a fee total of almost a quarter million dollars per year. Again, assuming our network had 600 or 6 million different transactions every single day. And at the current levels, about 100,000 transactions per day, you'd be looking at about $3.5 million total that's going to be collected again. Out of that, 70% is going to go to burn. Out of this down here, 70% is going to go to burn. So basically $150 million per year would be going to burn, in theory, if we had 6 million transactions per day. But what if this transaction fee, instead of being this super low number, instead of it going all the way up to, for example, the 10 cent mark, what if we had it just be one cent per transaction? and we just kept it at basically one cent per transaction. Again, ideally you probably want it to adjust over time, but let's just keep it simple. Say it's one cent per transaction. Well, at just one cent per transaction at 100,000 transactions, the current level of volume we are seeing on a daily basis, We'd be looking at a total fee of about $1,000 a day. Still not crazy, but it's a lot better than a less than a dollar a day. And we'd be burning basically $700 every single day worth of ship. Again, we obviously want that to be higher, but this is a lot better than what we were looking at with the current numbers. And on a yearly basis, you'd be looking at burning just about a quarter million dollars. What happens if we get up to 6 million different transactions every single day? Again, looking at the peak of Polygon, you'd be looking at burning $43,000 worth of SHIB every single day. And on a yearly basis, you'd be burning $15 million worth of SHIB, almost $16 million worth of SHIB. And again, when we compare that to current rates right now, would you rather be burning $2,000 or actually less than $2,000 worth of SHIB? Or would you rather be burning basically $16 million worth of SHIB? You guys can let me know in the comments down below which one you'd prefer. And so what might be the argument against having this be one cent per transaction fee? Well, some people might say that is too expensive. But when we look at the numbers, we actually look at what is one cent compared to different transaction values as a transaction fee. Because some people are saying we already had the number floating around, right? Burning 100 something trillion SHIB every single year. If we burned 1% of every single transaction, that's basically based in a kind of like a credit card model where you have it as a percentage of every transaction. If we fixed it just at one cent per transaction, a dollar would be a 1%. A $10 transaction would be 0.1%. A $100 transaction, 0.01%. And the problem with locking it, for example, at 1% is you would eliminate people who do day trading. Maybe that's something that you want to do. Maybe that's something that you don't want to do, but it's something to at least consider. You're going to eliminate people who do, do day trading with $1,000, $100, whatever it is, where they do swing trades and they're looking for maybe a quarter percent, 0.1% different trade. If you have a one cent transaction fee, a hundred dollars swing trade, you're only losing 0.01% per transaction. That is still extremely affordable. You could do a trade, a swing trade for 0.1% profit. That is something that could happen constantly. You could have money constantly churning, especially if you get up to a thousand dollars, which is more in the range of what a lot of people do for these different trade amounts. Again, this fee is basically nothing, even for those people that are doing those trades. And if you're doing less than one dollar transaction, then why are you, I mean, then we really have to question, are we really going to be trying to cater to every single person who's doing less than a $1 transaction? You're still talking 1%. You could do extremely affordable NFTs, extremely affordable, whatever you want to do. And you could go ahead and only be spending 1%. That is extremely affordable still for basically everyone that's going to be using Shabam 
probably gonna be doing transaction sizes of over $1. And so what can we do about these extremely low numbers? We're looking at collecting basically $35 over the course of a year and burning less than that worth the ship. What can we do about this? Well, first of all, we need clarity about the scaling. Again, remember, this is supposed to scale over time. This base fee is supposed to fluctuate and scale with the transaction volume. But we need an idea. What is this supposed to be at 1 million transactions, 5 million transactions, 10 million transactions? We don't have the answer for that. We need to know, is this going to scale correctly, right? Maybe it scales exponentially. We get something close to at 5 million transactions. We actually hit one cent per transaction. Then everything's okay. Then our focus needs to be on scaling. However, if I had a couple million transactions every single day, this number is still going to be extremely low for the burns. We need to start making our voices heard to get this changed. This would be unacceptable. I'm sorry, guys. This is unacceptable if it stays here. Right? If this is temporary, it's going to exponentially increase over time. And in a month or two, this will be 100x what it is now. And then after that, it'll go to 1,000x, 10,000x, and start to scale up. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it being low now if we can see clearly how it's going to scale in the future. Again, the problem is we don't know that right now. But if it's not going to scale in the future, and maybe when we hit the 6 million transaction mark that we're trying to target, or 10 million transaction mark, whatever our target is here, and we're going to be having this fee be 1,000th of a cent, that's not okay for me, right? That is so affordable. Why even have it in the first place? It's a question I've been asking you guys throughout this video. Why even have the burns if they're going to be this low? If you're looking at one one millionth of a dollar for a burn, why even have it? At that point, it's clearly that they're, in my opinion, I believe that it would be clear at that point that they are trying to market the burns to take advantage of the ship community. If it is not going to be significant, they are trying to take advantage of us. Again, right now it could be low and in the future it could be better. That's okay. If it's going to stay low in the future, though, that is not OK. That is clearly taking advantage of the community, because why even have a fee that's one one millionth? If you're going to be talking about total fees of thirty five dollars over a year, why even have the fees? I'll pay the thirty five dollars and everyone can use the network for free. Why don't we do that instead? Now, something that I feel I need to address with you guys and we need to talk about is some of the drama right now surrounding the burns. There's been back and forth with the team behind Shibarium in the community, the team behind Shibarium saying, well, why do you guys want so many burns? These burn amounts, it's not really going to do much, but you should be happy that we even incorporated it. And then the ship army or the ship community is saying, wait a second, you guys talked about us burning tons of Shiba Inu, which is what we wanted here. We wanted tons of Shiba Inu because the base fee, the fee of this network is bone. You're not providing value to Shiba Inu. Shiba Inu right now is not seeing a value increase from Shibarium because the base fee on this network, everything's in bone. You're not using SHIB to do transactions, you're using bone, which is okay, right? Obviously they wanna promote their cryptocurrency bone, something that they have a large interest in, but then what's the value to SHIB? What is the value for this being Shibarium and focusing on the SHIB community? Well, in theory, that was supposed to be these burns, but if the burns are gonna be so small, you're really just taking advantage of the SHIB community at that point. And so the SHIB community is upset saying, why are these burns so low? Why are you even incorporating the burns if they are so low? And this is where we need to talk about some of the drama going on because you're getting pushed back. Some of these people are pushing back. You have videos like this from Rodney. Now, I'm not going to hit on Rodney. I think he has some fair points in this video. But something I commented was that yesterday, this person, Lucy from SHIB, ended up posting a screenshot of Satoshi saying it would cost them the billions to burn SHIB to get a truly world changing, significant rise in price. To do that, we have to implement a plan like the one you are seeing. It's funny, we are working on that, but getting and burning billions of dollars is no easy task. And that's fair. Burning billions of dollars is definitely a monumental goal to accomplish. But he didn't say it in this post, and this is actually, you guys can see this screenshot right here, and I'm going to show you in a second why I can't show you the screenshot on my Twitter, but you guys can see this right here. You guys can see this Twitter post that they put out talking about if we don't, if we don't use Shibarium, it won't burn SHIB if you don't use it. Trying again, push for us to use Shibarium. And so basically the thing is that the team didn't say it's going to cost billions of dollars. We can't do that. And that's what I said right here. Didn't say it would cost billions, so we're not going to aim for that. That's not what they said. Instead, they said... It's funny. We are working on that. They're actively trying to accomplish that. The plan you are seeing right now, they're emphasizing that this is something that they were working on. And for posting this, for simply posting what they said and reading it, I ended up getting blocked. This is a massive problem, guys. We should not be getting blocked for simply reposting. Literally, I linked to their tweet and quoted the vast majority of what they said, saying it's not fair to put it back on us and blame us for expecting the burns. When they talked about burning billions of dollars, they didn't say, hey, we're going to try and burn some ship. That's very different. Trying to say, hey, we're going to burn a little bit of SHIB. We're going to have a little bit of SHIB being burned. That's very different from saying we're going to burn billions of dollars, not billions of SHIB, billions of dollars of SHIB.
And so overall, when it comes to these ship burns from the Shibarium network, yes, we need to support Shibarium. We need Shibarium to grow if we want to burn substantial amounts of ship. Even if we're talking about a one cent transaction fee, 100,000 transactions versus millions of transactions every single day, massive difference in how much we could be burning potentially. And so we do need to support the growth of Shibarium, get more people involved, use the network actively, but we also need to be holding firm, making sure that our desires are known and not be gaslit. Don't be gaslit by these people saying that you're crazy, saying that it's absurd for you to expect these different things. I showed you the math, right? Maybe billions of dollars is unrealistic. Maybe that's something that's true, but we can expect to see millions of dollars being burned. That is something that I showed you guys the math at one cent per transaction. That's something we can accomplish. Now, if you want to be kept up to date with these honest truths and important updates around Shibane, make sure you guys go ahead, subscribe down below. If you want to learn more about how these ship burns should be working, check out this fit up here and I'll catch you on the next one.